Hey, Wrangler 4 by E fans. Uh, let's talk about this little E hybrid page here. If you are new to the Wrangler 4 by E, you may not have explored this page. And if you're new to the 4 by E community, you may hear people talking about E save and some of the different options within E save. Um, the power flow screen is the first thing you will see in this page, and it'll show you where your power is going, what's consuming power, you know, like the climate's taking some power and the, uh, I'm in electric mode right now, so it's consuming power. The engine is not running, so it's not generating any power. So uh, if you go into your driving history, if I can hit these without hitting other buttons, if you go into your driving history, you can see how much electric you were doing versus how much hybrid time you're using. And of course, I, I'm kind of a broken record with this comment, but uh, Wrangler 4xE is always a hybrid, so, uh, these are hybrid miles, they're not gas-only miles. The 4xE becomes a hybrid, just a regular hybrid, after you reach that less than 1% point. So um, that's what that's about. You can see how you're doing, and uh, if, you know, there have been two weeks go by that I had nothing but green bars here lately. I've just had a bunch of unplanned trips that just uh, just burned up the, uh, the gas there. So the charging schedule, you know, to be honest, I have never messed with this. But if you live in an area that has off-peak uh, rates from your power company, you know, they may offer off-peak. And the reason why they offer uh, off-peak is to try to level out their 24-hour demand cycle. And uh, that's something really interesting if you don't understand how power works and how power companies operate. It's, uh, it's a really interesting subject and uh, one that books could be written on, but anyway, that'll allow you to change your schedule to when the electricity is cheaper. And if you go into eSave, you'll see there are two check boxes there. One says battery save and one says battery charge. And you may wonder why would they not just make it charge all the time? Why would they make it save sometimes and charge other times? Well, the reasoning behind that is because of the demand it puts on the gas engine when you're using those two. E-Save will always run the gas engine in hybrid mode, and it's again, it's always a hybrid, but it will change whether the vehicle is just maintaining the battery wherever it is when you turn that on, or if it's trying to charge. And of course, if it's charging, it's going to use more gas. And you may wonder why uh, energy is energy is energy. You can't get past the, uh, the rules of thermodynamics and, and all that kind of stuff, so the added demand to charge the battery is going to consume more gas. So if you have seen conversations about e-save and about selecting save versus charge, that's why you have those options there is because if you put it in charge, it's going to use more power and, um, and, and it's going to uh, load the engine harder and that's going to lower your miles per gallon that you're getting on a trip. So if you're going on a long trip, Charge is definitely not what you want to use. Um, and the only time you want to use e-save, the key word in e-save is save. You're not saving gas, you're saving the battery until later. That's the uh, the key thing to think about. The only time you'd want to use that is if you're wanting that electric range for later. Say you had a five mile drive to the highway and a 40 mile drive on the highway and then another five miles once you get off the highway. Of course, you can't cover that with electric range only. So you might choose to use uh, battery hold, you know, battery save while on the highway, and then uh, once you get off, go back to using the electric. Or if you wanted to uh, have all the battery when you got to a trail, if you wanted to go off-road, say you're going 400 miles and you wanted it to be charged by the time you got there, you might want to save, you know, that battery charge portion to like the last 100 miles or something. That way, you're not running and charge the whole time. And of course, this system will only charge to 95%. You won't get 100% charge when you're using the e-save. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind. It'd be better if you can pull over and charge before you go to the trail, if there's, if you can find a charger nearby, and, uh, and then go to the trail and then hold it while you're there. But again, you're only gonna hold to 95%. You're never gonna be able to hold to 100%. So there's some uh, thoughts on e-save and uh, the uh, hybrid pages and maybe your apps don't look like this you can move different apps just like an ipad or an iphone you put different apps on the taskbar you can do that as well you can put whatever apps you find yourself using the most down there on the taskbar and uh, 
and of course your apps, you can go into that screen and move things around and put things the way you want it. But that's for another video. Thanks for watching. Take care.